Yo, what's going on, you guys? Your boy Pony Montana, and in this video, we will be going over why the meta of the kickoff has somewhat changed in Madden 22. Now, before I get into it, if you guys are new, subscribe, like the video, comment below, follow me on Twitch to see me play live, and that's pretty much it. Now, we're just gonna be going over why people are kicking off to the middle now if you guys don't know and how people kick in madden 22 a lot of people come out and return middle and then most people kick off middle and then we used to kick to the right side to the tight end but that has changed now we kick off towards the left side and the reasoning for that is because a lot of the times when you're kicking off to that left side you kind of get a fair catch Right, you get a fair catch. You get you get a you get a tight end that ends up running up the field, up the sidelines, or a lot of the times it's just uh like almost an impossible situation to actually get some play from anybody that is that that you're kicking to, and sort of like the confidence level kind of drops depending on who it is that you guys are playing. Now on the on the right side, it's a little bit harder to get a, like any type of space because of the personnel that's coming from the right side. You have safeties, you have you have you have safeties, corners, uh, linebackers. You have nothing but good players coming from that left side. And then when you're kicking it to that left side, not only are you making sure that that person pretty much returns it, because we all know that coaching adjustments do not work on kickoff. So when we're coming down the field. There is the potential of you getting a huge hit stick on whoever it is that's returning the ball. A lot of people are sitting there kicking off to the tight end. And granted, I, I've even made a video saying, hey, kick off, sky kick, press triangle or Y if you guys are on the Xbox, and kick off to that right side. It's changed. We are now kicking to the left side. So we're going to sky kick, which is pressing triangle or Y if you guys are on the Xbox. If you guys can see, I will bring up my trusty red arrow. I will bring the trusty red arrow, and as you can see right here, it says it's highlighted sky kick. If you press R1 or right bumper, it'll highlight normal. Uh, and if you press L1, it'll highlight the squib. We are going to highlight the sky kick, and we're going to aim it straight to the left. And it's pretty much going to be the same kick, and you want it pretty much right here. This is almost perfect. Now, when this happens, you're going to be able to run all the way down with, with, your, with your defender, and potentially get a nice hit stick on whoever it is that's there. Now, not only that, but the meta in Madden is mobile quarterbacks. And if this is what's going on with Madden, and this is going to be the, the type of Madden that we play, where mobile quarterbacks are, are king and they run things, do me a favor and count on one hand how many left-handed quarterbacks you're using in Madden. Whether it be Madden Ultimate Team or whether it be it be any any type of team mode, how many left-handed quarterbacks are you utilizing in Madden? So in a game that's absolutely dominated by mobile quarterbacks, whether it be you're running escape artists or not, 99% of the quarterbacks that you will be using in Madden, whether it be a legend card, whether it be a current player, is going to end up being right-handed. And What's the significance of that? Well, if you're coming out with somebody like Tom Brady here, what's Tom Brady's dominant hand? His right hand. And it's a lot easier. Oh, I actually just accidentally clicked that. It's a lot easier to come out. It's a lot easier to come out on the field with somebody like Tom Brady. And I know that if you guys are playing Madden Ultimate Team, there is a golden ticket Tom Brady who has 95 speed. So it's a little bit different. But as you can see, someone running towards their right hand, that's going to be their dominant hand. And they're going to be able to sit there and scramble out easier on you guys if you're giving them that space. It's, a, it's going to be a lot harder for somebody to scramble out with someone mobile towards that left side. And then once they do scramble out, if your player is there, if your defender is there to make a play, it will be a lot harder for them to make any type of throw on the field granted it is ea it is madden and when we're playing madden it's a frustrating game especially when someone can throw cross body to whichever side of the field they're on so you're initially making them start the game off 
in somewhat of a bad place for somebody who's going to be mobile or anything like that. So on top of being able to potentially get a hit stick fumble, because I've gotten a good number of those starting to kick off to that left side, then you also make it so that your opponent starts off with sort of not so great field positioning when it comes to whatever it is that you're trying to do. Now let's go let's go ahead and throw a nice little dot here and end the video. And that's pretty much it for the video, man. Start kicking towards that left side. This is why. And start dominating your opponents. My name is Pony Montana, and I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, two fingers, deuces, and peace out, you guys.